We're gonna go on the driver's bus. Oh, I've had some friends who've been on it. Apparently it's really cool and like futuristic and sounds really fun. Sounds to be an exciting adventure for us, Friday the 13th, what can go wrong? The RACT was really keen to see driverless technology in the state for the first time, so we looked at a range of different opportunities to demonstrate the technology to the community. Primarily, we were just really keen to show the community a bit of a glimpse into the future state of getting around Hobart and Tasmania. We are also really keen to just to see how difficult it is to introduce the technology to Tasmanian roads. So what are the challenges, what are the barriers, what are the regulatory and natural environment factors that we have to consider for this technology? Yeah, it's been really exciting. So the people that have travelled on it really appreciate where the technology is heading. So it, it still does have a long way to go and we don't shy away from that. We're trying to give an accurate depiction of where the technology is right now but people are really getting excited about the glimpse into the future and people really understand the cases where this sort of technology is going to be so useful. It was good. It was silent like I thought it would be. It's obviously got very limited applications at the moment, but we were just learning that maybe, a, you know, a dementia village, it would be ideal. There's some really interesting sort of community perceptions out there as well, and, and largely for those who haven't ridden on the bus. So some stuff around employment losses and just people who have a general aversion to riding on a vehicle without a driver. But the fact of the matter is widespread integration of these vehicles is so far away and it actually supports the existing public transport network by providing options for when people get off the bus or the light rail or whatever it is, the ferry, to travel that little extra bit to school or to home or to work. So it actually supports that network rather than takes it away. All Australian auto clubs are really moving into a mobility phase, so we're calling ourselves mobility clubs and we really want to be the thought leader in these new mobility options. So it's not just about cars anymore, there are so many other ways that people can get around now and will be able to get around in the future. So we're looking at electric cars, we're looking at autonomous vehicles, we're looking at a range of mobility devices because if we just continue to focus on cars we're going to fall behind because the future is so many other ways to get around and we really want to be at the forefront of that in Tasmania.